getting on the next bus in a few minutes to go to Lynchburg, Virginia, where the owner of a hostel in Glasgow is picking me up and I will be doing a work for stay there. And I'll explain that um, just in a few minutes. So basically I'll be working a few hours a day helping change the beds, you know, linens and laundry and cooking and answering phones and whatever it is they need um, for four weeks. So a few hours a day for four weeks in exchange for a bed. This will keep me in the hiking community. Even my husband said when we talked about it that if I went home, I would get sucked into daily life and I wouldn't return to the trail. So we agreed that I will go to the hostel, stay in the hiking community and be able to return to the trail in four weeks. So I've got this. They're treating it as a stress fracture. It's weird because they took an x-ray, which they said an x-ray won't necessarily show a stress fracture, but they took one anyway, so go figure that out. Um, and then she didn't want to do an MRI or CAT scan, and I'm not sure why. It's probably something with their policy or funding or whatever, but she consulted with an orth orthopedic orthopedist um, there at the emergency room, who I saw, um, and their exam, the symptoms, the x-ray, everything put together, they said, yeah, it's 99% of stress fracture, so doing an MRI or CAT scan would confirm it, but the treatment would be the same. So they're treating it as the stress fracture, and they put this thing on my foot. They said I can walk, but to limit it as much as possible, um, so I should probably sit down right now, right? <laughs> um, to limit the walking to just household stuff, not certainly on uneven, rocky, muddy terrain, rocks and roots, and you know, on the trail, obviously. So I'll just um, be hanging out at the hostel in Glasgow for four weeks, letting this heal. The good thing is I will have a lot of time to catch up on these videos, catch you up to speed, um, maybe journal, because there's been a lot going on behind the scenes, and you know, I can just kind of put my thoughts out there in and, and writing, and I think that will be good for me. And um, you know, just try to make the best of it, and then hit the trail again. So I'll explain a flip-flop later, not in this video, but that's what I'll likely be doing is flip-flopping. And anyway, I'm just waiting for the bus and I'm heading to Glasgow and I'm going to make the best of it and I am not getting off the trail for good, just for a few weeks. So I will be back. actually yesterday that I got my name and I was on top of Apple Orchard Mountain eating lunch and there were these group of people behind us and there was this one guy guy and, <laughs> and uh, he was he was talking about Millennials and he was like oh dumb Millennials eating their Tide Pods and I turned around and I was like Millennials aren't the ones eating Tide Pods it's my generation and he kind of just turned around and been like your name's Tide Pod now there we go. But you're not gonna eat Tide Pods. No, no, I'm not that. I'm not you're that dumb. A little smarter than that, right? Too, too smart for that. So who are you hiking with? Um, I'm hiking with my dad, Mary Ellen. Your dad, Mary Ellen. My dad, Mary Ellen. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Why hey. is your name Mary Ellen? <laughs> um, my name is Mary Ellen. 18 years ago, I did a section hike from Fontana Dam to Parisburg, and in the ice water spring shelter, as you all know, when hikers come in, they come in and they hang their stuff and they cook and they talk and it's a bunch of jitter gibberish and, and then it, they all bed down and it gets real quiet. Well, it got really, really quiet and I just realized it's so quiet and I just simply said, good night, John boy. And somebody yelled, good night, Mary Ellen. <laughs> and everybody laughed. And of course, the next day at breakfast, somebody said, where's Mary Ellen? And oh, that's so funny. I raised my hand. And for those that don't know, that's from the 70s TV show, The Waltons. So I'm Mary Ellen. And Mary Ellen. And <laughs> Jim Bob. And, uh, let's see, can you name all the... Uh, no, I can't. Um, oh. John Boy, yeah. Mary Ellen, Aaron, oh. Jim Bob, Ben. Ben? 
Yeah, Ben was Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth is the youngest. Grandpa, Grandma. Nice. Ben was the musician. He's the guy that played the guitar and the harmonica. You should be Ben because you're the musician. Oh, well, I kind of like. Mary Ellen. I kind of like being Mary Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Lovely wife who I will love till beyond <laughs> death obviously loves us. We get into Glasgow yesterday and find this box. Yeah. Clean full of this. <laughs> there because it is. Because she thinks we need food. Resupply for yes. how many years? <laughs> uh, uh, well, here, I ain't, I'm not done yet. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. But two people. And here. Oh. <laughs> We're going to Waynesboro. Anybody want to go? <laughs> Well, you have a teenage boy. They eat a lot, Yes, he right? eats a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my so we heavens. So we're going to go all through this and figure out. <laughs> we're going to make it to Waynesboro in probably six days, but we're going to take seven days of food. We might make it there in five. Yeah. It might take eight. We're going to take yeah. seven days worth oh of food. Oh, my God. The rest is getting packaged to Waynesboro. Oh. And I've been living here ever since. Hiker here, right? So I ran into hey. these two. So what are your trail names? Where um, are you from? And all that. Okay, yeah, I'm uh, Twinkle Toes. I'm from. They're not twinkling. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm from uh, North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. Why We're... are you Twinkle Toes? Oh well, um, out of co coming out of Neil's Gap, you know, 30 miles in. I was wearing the completely wrong shoes, and so I switched over to some ultras. And this girl who hiked the PCT called me Twinkle Toes, and it kind of just like stuck. That's and then funny. like I kind of fall, and I'm clumsy. And uh, when did that happen? Uh, two days ago. Yeah, <laughs> totally face planted. It's fine. <laughs> Good. You're gonna fall many times. Yeah. What's your name? Hey, I'm Crockett, Davy Crockett, Davey Crockett. Um, <laughs> from right. upstate New York, and, and yeah, now we're at a grass festival. Yeah, it's yeah, fun, you know? Fifth awesome. festival. Yeah, yeah. These. You should get them. It's no. a good price. Ah. <laughs> There's different flavors. This was sour cream and the onion. No. Yes. Wait, wait. Oh. I got bacon, bacon and, cheese. and cheese. Oh my god, I'm gonna vomit in my mouth. Ew. Salt and vinegar. Gross. You need salt and vinegar. You got a backpack. 
crickets? You want some crickets? There's, there's. Oh, gross. Yeah, come on. Oh, disgusting. Come on, bacon and cheese, my berry.